this week's thriving video includes uh, a bit of a workaround that I've had to figure out when it comes to being able to insert almost automated text that refers to text elsewhere in a document and then you're going to move it around. So it's if you are wanting to refer to a particular paragraph number and you want numbered paragraphs in a document. If you work in a legal sense or you work on any kind of large scale uh, corporate documents, sometimes they like things to be numbered. Uh, so numbered paragraphs in Word and then how to make insert references to those numbers. I know it seems a bit confusing, but once you see the video, you'll understand. So this is um, a reasonably quick video just to show you how I've created a workaround for that, that you can work with in both uh, PC and Mac in Word on the desktop. So have a look. I wanted to show you a really simple way that you can create a numbered system uh, if you're working with legal documents or you're working with uh, large volumes of content and you need to be able to cross-reference and have those titles and fields update whether you move content. So this is something I've been asked a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, so I wanted to share it with you specifically. So what I've got here is I've got some uh, general text in a flat document. Um, and what I've done is I've actually created it as a numbered list. So if we go to the Home tab, we're in Word on the desktop here. So it's just a standard numbered list, all right? But then what I've done, so I've created that like a normal numbered list. And then what I've done is I've moved the points up here in the ruler to make the numbers sit in what would normally be the margin of our, um, of our document. And then I've moved the uh, end point of our list or the left margin of our list across to actually sit at the the hard edge of where the document is. So when we go to print it, you can see this sits over on the margin and this will, you still get a full page of text. Okay. So that's the first thing that I've done. And what that's done is it's effectively created each paragraph now has a number. All right. And this is the easiest way for me to get around how this works. Then what I've done is you can see the red text here. So this would be where you might be referring to the, a particular piece of text. So I've got this one that is called test and at the moment it's paragraph five. So you could write that, but if you move that text, the number changes. And if you've just written it, that's not going to update automatically. So what you can do is you can actually insert a cross-reference. So cross-referencing allows me to make this text and this number uh, appear here as a field. But what happens is if I move this text, the number will change. All right, and I'll show you that first and then I'll show you how we create it. So if I was to take this and I go cut, so control X, and I wanna put it in here now. So it's now actually number two. So the text exists. The text sitting at number five is no longer potentially what we were referring to here. And what I can do is I can right click here and I can update this field and you can see it's now changed to number two because it refers to that specific text. Okay, so that's what we're creating is a link to the text, not to the number. And to do that, what I've done, and I'll do one down here. So we'll go here and we'll go, I'll do it in red because then it sticks out. So we'll go refer to paragraph. And what we've got is you can do it from two ways. You can do it from insert and cross-reference, or you can do it from the references tab. There's a little one here for cross-reference, exactly the same point. So we're going to insert a cross-reference and we're going, so there's lots of different, so you can do it by headings. You can do it by, um, so you can select a heading that it refers to, a bookmark, a footnote, etc. But we're going by numbered item and we're going by paragraph number, not page number, paragraph number. If you do paragraph text, it'll, um, it's a reference to the text. We're actually referring to the paragraph number because we want those, just the number to appear. And I'm going to choose, again, I'm going to choose, I might choose a different one. I'm going to make it this one, paragraph three, and insert and close. So you can see it now says refer to paragraph three. So at the moment, this is paragraph three. So if I am, and this is a field now, you can see it's in gray. So now if I was to move this and put it in at number one, 
There we go. So you can now see this one has moved and it's pushed everything down. So that text it refers to is actually now paragraph three. And this one that is paragraph three is actually now paragraph one. Okay. Now, if you are working on a PC, you can use the F9 key to update all of your fields. If you are working on a Mac like me, we just right click and update. Uh, you can also right click and update on a PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the text because I now have two fields and I've moved things around and I want to change all of them at once. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to update field. And you'll see this one now says paragraph three and this one now says paragraph one. So this is one of the workarounds for some of the queries I get where people ask about if they remove text and it's automated, how do they make sure that the references still work? And this has been the workaround that I found for now. So I hope that that is something that might prove useful for you. It's not an ideal situation without having to do any coding or using VBA and macros, which is not something I'm particularly au fait with. This is a great way to get around that and to still have that automation that allows your document to be live as you continue to edit it without having to manually go through and potentially miss um, a reference point. So uh, using form fields like this is a really handy way to keep your document live and updated regularly. Uh, it's also a really handy way for you to be able to jump through a document pretty quickly because that field will also be a link and when you click that number it will take you to that spot. So um, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about what's in the video then don't hesitate to get in touch. You can pop a comment on the video or you can find me hanging out on Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn just search for Thrive Admin Services or you can head to thriveadmin.com and get in touch with me directly there. Have a great day.